So when we're talking about a sequence, a lot of times what you guys are going to have is you're going to be provided a list of numbers, and I'm going to ask you to find the rule. If you guys remember in Algebra 1, that was something we learned with functions. You would be given a, a pattern, and we say, you know, find the function rule. Or you're given a set of a table of values or a graph, and it was asking you to find the rule. Well, we're going to be doing something very similar with sequences as well. All right. So the one thing, um, Sam, to have is if you guys remember, if I had a function, let's call this f of x equals 3x plus 2. That was the, what we called the rule of the function, correct? Yes? Yeah. And if you guys remember, here is our input, here is our output. If we wanted to find a value for that function, we would just say f of 3. Let's do f of 4. f of 4 equals 3 times 4 plus 2. You'd plug the 4 into your function value for your input value, and then you could evaluate. Does that make sense? Everybody remember that. OK, so all we're going to do is we're going to transition from function notation to a sequence notation. And when we use sequences, we don't, like, we don't use the function notation. What we're going to use is what we call the subscript notation. So we could say a of n equals 3x plus 2. All right. And when using this notation, what is helpful for this is if you guys see these sequences, right? You could say this is the first term. This is the second term, third term, fourth term. Here's the first, second, third, fourth. Right? Does everybody see how I label them? First, second, third, fourth. And for this one, obviously, we could continue on and on and on and on and on forever. So the way that we kind of find these terms is we plug in, uh, sorry, I got to use the correct variables. If I'm using a sub n, obviously n is my input variable. Sorry, there's no x. It's just going to be a sub n or 3n. So therefore, if I want to find the first term, I would say a sub 1. Well, just like function notation, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to plug a 1 into your value. So therefore, I can say 3 times 1 plus 2. Well, a sub 1, 3 times 1 is 3. 3 plus 2 is 5. So let's go ahead and create this new sequence here. Um, let's do the a sub n equals 3n plus 2. So the first term is 5. Well, let's find the second term. So the second term, you just plug it in, right? Huh? I'm just finding the, I'm finding the list of the first three terms. OK? Yep. So now I plug in a 2. So you do 3 times 2 plus 2. Well, 3 times 2 is 6. 6 plus 2 equals 8. I'm trying to relate this going back to functions, but now what we're doing is we're setting up a, a sequence of them. Then if, let's say, you need to find the next one, you're going to now plug in. <laughs> so 3 times 3 is 9. 9 plus 2 is going to equal 11. OK? So do you guys see how I just created this list from a rule? OK? One thing, two things that we're going to be working on today is one, creating your sequence, and then two, when given a sequence, finding the rule. And I'll talk a little bit more about those um, coming up. But the main important thing is taking your rule and finding your sequence. Now, another thing that I'm go we're going to ask you is, what about when, here's my rule. What is my value going to equal when a sub n equals 11? And I'll say, what about our, yeah, what's the 11th term? Well, it's just like following the rules, right? You can go, keep on adding them up. Or you can just say, well, why don't we just plug in 11 into my rule? So 3 times 11 plus 2. 3 times 11 is 33, plus 2 is 35. Yes? Will that little thing be given, or is like your, um, OK, that um, little equation right there, is that always the equation? Depends on the question that we're going to be asking. If I provide you with the equation, and sometimes I might be provide you with the rule. And then I say, define the first five terms. So then you'd have to do this for the first five numbers, right? Um, also, I will also 
give you just a list and say, write me what the rule is. OK, and we'll go over how to determine those and so forth. But does anybody have any diff least questions on sequence rule notation? Where'd your phone go? Oh. <laughs> Just looking for it. 